Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is autumn trends, this not that. So basically I found a Cosmopolitan article online saying what trends you should follow for the autumn season and I have my own thoughts on what I think looks good and what I don't. Don't take any of this to heart, this is just my opinions and my own personal preference when it comes to style. If you like these things, that's absolutely fine. You dress for your own comfort. Everyone has their own personal style. Everyone can wear what they want as long as they feel confident in it. Before we get started, I also want to say there's some construction across the road. So if you hear any banging or drilling, that's what it is. And it's quite annoying, but I need to film. So here we are. <laughs> okay, I've just moved to the side a little bit so I can put like pictures here of what I mean to help visualize it. The first trend that they said will come about in autumn is sweater vests. Now we already saw that in winter so it's no surprise really that people still like that style and still want to wear it in winter. Personally I really like sweater vests. I think they're really cute. I already have the kind of granddad aesthetic style. Like I have so many granddad jumpers. I have so many like cord trousers i literally look like a granddad which some people don't like but i do so the sweater vest kind of trend fits into my style which is great obviously now i think there's certain ways that you can do it to make it look cool and what i mean by that is on sites like shein and boohoo or whatever they have really cheap poor quality trendy sweater vests which is fine you know it's affordable and people like to be on trends but these pieces aren't going to last. Whereas I've got a few sweater vests in my wardrobe, which I found in charity shops that have been around, you know, since the olden days because they probably literally belong to granddads. So I think if you're able to find something secondhand, style it in a way that is trendy, then you're gonna get the most out of that item. The next trending style is cutouts. So this example that they've used here is absolutely hideous. I just. I just don't agree with it and it kind of reminds me of the days when I used to wear long sleeve tops with the shoulder cutouts. I just I just I just don't think it looks that great. And I think if you want to kind of follow this trend then maybe go with something more like this where it's a little rappy, a little more sophisticated. I just think it looks really nice. And also this trend reminds me of the freaking mean girl scene where she like snips the boob patches out of her top. I just think I don't know, I'm not a fan of it. I think it can look kind of tacky. Um, the only way that you can really make it look nice is to dress it up and yeah, I'm just rambling now. And the next trending style is lilac, which obviously isn't really a fashion piece or an item of clothing, but it's more of a colour. But either way, I just think lilac is so pretty. It works in winter, it works in summer, it works for any style really. I just think it's oh, it's just so nice and it's just such a like... It can be feminine, but it can also not be, depending on how you style it. Um, I have a few lilac pieces myself. I have, what do I have? Now I can't actually think of what I've got, but I'll insert pictures here of some things that I own that is lilac. My favorite color to pair lilac with is brown. Some people may disagree with me, but I just think it creates a really nice muted, toned down color palette for your outfit. So the next one, kind of questionable, but cheetah print coats. Depending on what style of coat you get, I think it might work. Me personally, I don't think I'd go buy one. I think I'd just, you know, let other people rock it because I just don't think it would suit me. But I think this example of a puffer jacket leopard print, I think is a little bit ducky, a little bit chummy. Don't come for me. I just don't personally like it. I think if you're wanting to go in the more animal print direction, then go for like a fur coat, like a faux fur coat, or if you're not against reusing real fur, then go look in a vintage shop, go look in a charity shop and see if you can find something that will fit this trend. And it's a little bit, in my opinion, a little bit more highbrow and less tacky, but that's just, that's just what I think. Don't come for me. <laughs> so the next one is similar to the lilac. It's a color and that is lime green. So a couple of months ago, we went through the whole phase of like sage green, which I, Mm, I adore it. I think it's so nice. I don't think I actually own anything sage myself, but like I've seen so many items of clothing and I'm just like, oh, I want it. It's so pretty. And I think it's so classy as well. Lime green on the other hand, I think it's a little bit more summery than autumn. I think you could get away with it. 
if you styled it right, like with a dark brown, I think it could look autumnal. But I think lime green, we obviously should do for summer, but summer's already passed now, so it seems kind of pointless in my eyes. But I mean, it's a nice color if you style it right. So the next trend that Cosmopolitan have predicted is colorful leather. But I don't know how I feel about this one. I think it could look edgy. I think it could look fun. But in terms of owning something timeless, it's probably just a better idea to go for normal coloured leather. So that's brown leather, black leather, beige leather, something that, you know, you can wear in a few years time and it'll still look really nice. So I own like a dark brown leather jacket and I just think it's really cool. It's really vintage and it looks nice. But like if I own like a cropped lilac, leather jacket I just think I wouldn't wear that in a few years and it's a waste of money and you know that's just going to end up in landfill so definitely be conscious of whether you're buying it to be trendy or whether you're buying it because you'll know you wear it in the future. This next one I have no idea where it's on the list because it's absolutely hideous. Quilted tech qu quilted fab quilted fabrics you just look like a bed you look like a bed or you look like some sort of protective something I just think it looks really bad it looks tacky it looks i just i can't vibe with it there's no way you can make this look good except on a fashion runway but even then i hate it <laughs> i don't have anything else to say about it i'm so sorry so the next one is acid wash as in like acid wash denim and i'm all for bringing back the 80s style but please please can we leave acid wash where it was I wore it when I was like 12. I had acid wash jeans. I tried to make all my other jeans acid wash. I just think it looks cheap. I think it looks, I don't know. It just doesn't, it's not my personal style. I'd much rather have like a dark denim blue or like a dark gray denim. I just, I don't know. Acid wash just seems a bit tacky. There's the word tacky again. A bit tacky, a bit cheap, a bit. It's really hard to style as well because like it looks kind of more grungy. I don't know. Again, not a fan of it, but if you like it, you like it. Okay, so this is another sort of, mm, not sure how I feel about it, but sparkles. Time and a place. I don't, I couldn't wear sparkles like going into town or going shopping or doing like day-to-day -day shit. I think I'd reserve it for like a nighttime event. So like a sparkly dress or a sparkly top. I actually own one, insert picture. <laughs> insert picture here um it's it's classy because of the cowl neck it's not too in your face it's subtle but it's cute and i've had that for quite a few years so you know it's not timeless but i'm not just throwing it out after the trend has gone if that makes sense so i think if you love sparkles go for it but try and like make it a little, little bit more mature oh, i really don't know if anyone would feel so bad don't hate me Okay, so this one I really think comes down to your personal style. Printed tights. I think the the black versions with like the tiny little prints like this one, they're okay. Not my favourites. These, however, the bold 80s, 70s sort of vibe. Love it. However, that doesn't fit with my personal style, so I wouldn't wear them. But on somebody else, I think it looks great. It's so fun and it's like and like I don't know I just think it's very Austin Powers in the best way and I think you could really incorporate it into the autumn style find more autumnal autumnal, autumnal colors like orange and dark purple I just think that'd look absolutely sick I do actually own a pair of like the black sort of tights I don't really wear them that much so that's that's all I have to say on that I, I think if it fits your style do it but don't just buy them for the sake of buying them. Okay, so that's all the fashion trends predicted for autumn. My thoughts on them, which ones I would recommend hopping on, the trend I'd recommend hopping on, which ones I think you should try and find more, timeless alternatives, etc, etc. But please let me know down in the comments whether you agree with me or not, whether you own some of these items already, whether you're excited for the autumn trends that are going to come. It'd be really great to hear your thoughts and what our differences are because, you know, like I said at the beginning, fashion is preference. You, you do it to fit your style, you do it to make you comfortable and that's probably my favourite thing about it. But yeah, please give this video a big fat thumbs up, subscribe 
subscribe to my channel, click the bell notification so you're notified next time I post, which will be in two weeks on Sunday. And yeah, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!